this presentation is uh, Managing the Unmanageable. Uh, I'm going to talk about the structures we have in place at the Eclipse Foundation to manage open source development and business development concurrently. Uh, my name is Wayne Beaton. I'm the uh, Director of Open Source Projects here at the Eclipse Foundation. I, I run a small professional team at the Eclipse Foundation who are maniacally uh, focused on helping open source projects be successful. Um, I'm located in Ottawa, Canada. Again, couldn't be more excited to be at uh, this international conference. Uh, before I do go on any further, I'll point out that I am not a lawyer. Um, I don't think I'm giving any actual legal advice, but uh, uh, I figured I should uh, put that warning out there uh, there anyway. Uh, if you do have any comments or questions uh, after the conference, uh, anything that's not been able to that I haven't been able to address in uh, questions here or in the break room uh, afterwards, please do feel free to reach out at me. Uh, reach out to me at. Uh, Wayne.Beaton at eclipse-foundation.org. Um, for this presentation, uh, I'm leveraging a, a particular definition of success in, in open source. Uh, the Eclipse Foundation's definition of success is a, a vibrant and open, uh, open source projects with diverse interests represented uh, in their development teams, uh, broad adoptions, and, and healthy ecosystems. Uh, you may have a different definition of success, um, and, you know, and that's wonderful. Um, if you do want to change the world, there's a few things you need to think about that are uh, beyond uh, just writing code. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the very specific things uh, that, that are required to uh, encourage adoption and build an ecosystem, but rather I'm going to talk about the structures that the Eclipse Foundation has in place to provide the various things that one needs to be successful in open source. Again, following our definition of, uh, of success. Um, at the Eclipse Foundation, open source projects uh, are the means by which developers collaborate. Uh, Eclipse open source projects have resources like Git repositories, issue trackers, uh, mailing lists. The Eclipse Foundation provides various services for projects, including build and download infrastructure, intellectual property management, security best practices and support, CVE assignment, and more. Uh, every open source project ha has a team of developers, which we refer to as the project's committers. Uh, the committers are the primary decision makers. They decide uh, what code goes into Git repositories, builds the products produced by uh, the project. Committers decide which issues will be addressed. Uh, they decide the schedule by which the project will release. They are the ones uh, with the, that work with the contributors uh, to work contributions into a form where they can be merged. Uh, it is the committers who decide which contributors get to invited to join the project team. Uh, open source projects at the Eclipse Foundation are of course required to operate in an open, transparent and meritocratic manner. The uh, Eclipse Foundation development process refers to openness, transparency and meritocracy uh, as the open source rules of engagement. Uh, they are the foundational principles that underpin how we believe that open source should be done. For many open source projects, the word open and transparent uh, mean the same thing. Uh, this is not the case for Eclipse projects. Uh, Eclipse projects must be transparent in order to operate in a transparent manner. Eclipse project teams need to ensure that um, uh, that the community has the ability to understand what the project team is doing. This means that all development plans, issue tracking and resolution, discussion and more happens on open channels where people who are not part of the project team can follow along. Eclipse projects must be open. Transparency is concerned with letting people know what you're doing. Openness is concerned with letting them participate as an equal player. As an Eclipse project committer, you have to be open to new ideas and work with contributors to ensure that their contributions have an equal chance of becoming part of the project. Project teams should have well-defined rules for participating that apply to everybody, regardless of who they work for or factors other than the quality of their contributions. Eclipse projects must be meritocratic Project participants earn their way to additional responsibility. A regular contributor of quality code should be invited to become a committer themselves. A committer who shows leadership may one day become a project lead. Uh, we have a well-defined process for turning somebody into a committer that requires a statement of merit. 
uh, very often a statement of merit uh, is just pointers to contributions that the individual has made to the project. Um, these open source rules of engagement facilitate uh, the establishment of a, of a vendor neutral development environment. Uh, we often refer to this as a level playing field. The project is open to all comers and the rules of partic participation are the, the same for everybody. Project teams uh, make project decisions. Um, I'll reiterate this uh, at least a couple of more times uh, during this presentation because this is important. Uh, ultimately, uh, it is the committers who are in charge and decide what they will work on. Uh, this is mostly true. Um, committers take direction from their employers, uh, so uh, it's not entirely, uh, they're not entirely left to their own uh, devices. Um, other stakeholders, uh, including the contributors and adopters, um, even the user community uh, have some influence as well. Um, presumably, uh, one is participating in an open source project because they care about adoption. So listening to stakeholders uh, is, is pretty important. Um, Anyway, committers are, are, are though the, the ultimate authority. Committers are the ones on a project who ultimately are the ones who decide what they're going to work on and, and, and make the decisions. Um, it's natural uh, that some committers will become technical leaders uh, from whom other uh, com committers may take direction. Uh, but that sort of relationship uh, in our process is informal. Uh, in general, the Eclipse open source projects are self-organizing uh, and they develop methodologies and practices uh, generally organically, um, generally on a consensus uh, basis. Um, in the event that a project team has trouble getting along, their project management committee and the Eclipse management organization, that's the, the team that I, um, that I, that I manage, uh, we can step in to help resolve grievances. Uh, our history, however, has been of uh, one of high professionalism and uh, we rarely have to step in to settle uh, disputes. Project teams uh, get to decide their rules for participating. Uh, the rules uh, themselves may change uh, over time based on the evolving composition of a project team and other factors. Rules may include such things as requiring that one committer uh, review and merge the work of another. One open source project team uh, will most likely have a rule that uh, significant contributions be accompanied by uh, some pledge of ongoing support. That is, uh, before merging some significant contribution, the project team may require that the contributor demonstrate that they are willing to take the necessary steps to join the project team and maintain their contribution. Uh, other rules such as code formatting styles, inclusion of unit tests and so forth uh, may be specified as well. Um, project participation rules really are the domain of the project team, uh, that is the, the committers, uh, the people who um, have the ultimate authority uh, with the project. Um, and again, the rules are really about establishing a level playing field so that somebody who comes to the project uh, knows how to participate and, and how, to, how to be heard uh, when, when they, they join. Uh, and again, it just sort of makes sure that the, level, the, the playing field is level so that, uh, that everybody has a chance to participate. Note that the uh, Eclipse open source projects have uh, no private channels. Um, so all of this uh, happens in the open. Uh, we literally have no private channels, no uh, private mailing lists or anything like that. Everything a project discusses uh, at the Eclipse Foundation occurs uh, in public. Now, uh, while open source projects are the means by which developers collaborate, uh, working groups are the means by which organizations collaborate. Uh, the Eclipse Working Groups provide an open and vendor neutral governance framework uh, for individuals and organizations to engage in collaborative development uh, for specific technology domains. The Eclipse Working Groups uh, enable collaboration on business functions uh, important to the broader open source initiative, including uh, the shared development of requirements, uh, specifications, marketing strategy, security policies, uh, these unique industry collaborations uh, span a variety of innovation uh, areas, including cloud native enterprise Java, um, IoT, edge computing, uh, connected automobile mobility ecosystem, uh, and other emerging technology domains. There's no direct line of authority from working groups uh, to projects. This is a, an important part of how we um, how, how, we, how we structure working groups and projects. Uh, likewise, projects uh, have no direct line of authority to working groups. 
groups. Uh, that is, the working groups don't tell projects what to do, nor do the uh, projects tell working groups what to do. Working groups and open source projects complement each other and, and work together um, on different aspects uh, for, to, towards common goals. Working groups influence the activities of open source uh, uh, projects by bringing resources to them. Uh, this can take the form of uh, working group members assigning their employees to development tasks related to the open source project, providing funding to hire developers, or just ensuring the project teams are represented uh, in the working group committees and involved in their decisions and discussions. Uh, when I say that a working group member can assign their employees on development tasks uh, related to open source projects, um, I'll reinforce that meritocracy is a uh, key principle uh, for Eclipse open source projects. Uh, while any company, uh, whether they are a participant and member of the uh, working group or not, uh, is free to assign their developers to, uh, to work with an open source project. But uh, those developers will have to follow the same rules um, as everybody else. Uh, typically, a developer becomes a committer on an open source project by demonstrating a pattern of high quality contribution before they are invited to join the team. When it comes to deciding whether or not a developer is ready to become a committer on an Eclipse open source project, who they work for isn't a factor. Uh, note that the relationship between working groups and projects is a lot stronger uh, and far more direct uh, when the open source projects develop specifications. Um, there are some exceptions to what I said above, uh, but by and large, everything is true even for specification work. <clears throat> a working group may form committees for specific sorts of work. Uh, committees are composed of representatives from the various member organizations that participate in the working group. The steering committee is responsible for defining uh, and implementing the working group's charter uh, and generally providing leadership and oversight to the committees of the working group. The steering committee is composed of designated representatives from the working group's strategic members, along with elected and appointed members. Uh, a working group that engages in specification work defines a specification committee. The specification committee is responsible for implementing the Eclipse Foundation specification process um, for, all, uh, for governance of, of all specification projects. Um, a working group that engages in extensive collaborative marketing efforts uh, should designate a marketing committee. Uh, if designated, the marketing committee is responsible for working with the Eclipse Foundation to plan and assist uh, in executing uh, marketing activities. The uh, working group may decide to define other committees as necessary. The Eclipse Foundation has numerous uh, working groups working on a variety of technology uh, domains. I'm going to look at a couple of examples. The Eclipse IDE Working Group is uh, primarily concerned with uh, supporting the development and promotion of the Eclipse IDE. Uh, many participating companies have products based on the Eclipse IDE or, or on the technologies that, uh, that are part of or build up the uh, Eclipse IDE. Um, the Eclipse IDE, uh, this is I'm not sure how well known this is, is a, is a product of more than 70 uh, separate open source projects. Uh, at the beginning, um, uh, at the very foundation of the um, of the IDE is a, a project called the Eclipse Platform Project. Uh, support for Java development, uh, which is uh, what most people think of when they think of uh, the Eclipse IDE, comes from the Eclipse uh, JDT, Java Development Tools Project. Support for C and C++ development comes from the Eclipse CDT project. Support for Git integration comes from the Eclipse eGit uh, project and so on. Um, the eGit project builds on the JGit project. The JGit project is used in uh, all sorts of, uh, of Java-based products that, that do Git integration. Um, you know, there's a lot of interesting components in here. Again, uh, each of these projects, though, operates uh, more or less independently. Uh, with its own set of committers working in its own set of Git repositories and issue trackers, uh, each with its own mailing list, each building components it contributes via its own build instance. The Eclipse IDE product then is the composition of the outputs of these many projects, and it is the working group that provides the coordination by way of what we call the simultaneous release. The simultaneous release and the Eclipse IDE product builds that are assembled from it are managed by a working group committee called the Planning Council. 
Uh, so the individual open source projects follow an open source project process to produce their products and the planning council coordinates the efforts of the many participating projects it is the planning council that works with the participating open source projects to set the schedules and the themes for releases uh, and then bring all the pieces together um, because there are some necessary but thankless bits in the coordination process, the Eclipse IDE working group funds uh, the efforts of the work of a program manager. Um, the Eclipse IDE working group supports the Eclipse Marketplace, which is a hosted service that provides a means for individuals and organizations to post their Eclipse platform plugins and for the adopter community to find and install them into their Eclipse IDE products. Running a marketplace is a time-consuming and expensive activity that requires funding. The working group supports this vendor-neutral marketplace to support the ecosystem. The Eclipse IDE uh, working group also provides funding for discrete development efforts. In some cases, it's difficult to find developers who are interested in doing certain kinds of work. Um, in those cases, a working group allocates funding to hire contractors to complete the necessary work uh, of course, those contractors need to follow the same set of rules as everybody else and pass their contributions to the project via merge requests that the project committers need to uh, review and accept. The Jakarta EE Working Group is primarily concerned with the development, evolution, and sustainability of cloud-native enterprise Java and the Jakarta EE specifications in particular. Jakarta EE gives developers a comprehensive set of developer neutral open source specifications that are used for developing modern cloud native Java applications from the ground up. To support specification development, the Jakarta EE Working Group has a specification committee with responsibility to provide guidance and overall governance, set schedules and themes for releases, and play a role in the coordination of efforts across multiple specification projects. The Jakarta EE specification itself is a composition of specifications. Uh, the various technologies that make up what we call Jakarta EE are defined by separate specifications that are authored by separate open source projects, all operating under the purview of the Jakarta EE Working Group Specification project, uh, Committee. Um, each individual specification is itself a combination of artifacts. Uh, including a specification document, an API, and a technology compatibility kit uh, that must be used to validate um, uh, the compatibility of implementations. That is, the implementation of a specification that wants to claim compatibility must implement the API and pass the TCK. Um, there is actually a, a full list of the Jakarta EE specifications here at Jakarta EE uh, slash specifications. But anyway, uh, not really what we're talking about. Uh, today. Uh, individual open source projects build the specifications following the standard open source software development practices. The Jakarta EE Working Group Specification Committee provides oversight and ensures that the government, governance rules are followed, uh, in particular that the flow of intellectual property grants are correctly managed. Um, the Eclipse Glassfish is a compatible implementation of the Jakarta EE specification. It is developed by a collection of open source projects, each implementing some sets, a subset of the entirety of the specifications, uh, including Eclipse Glassfish, Jersey, Grizzly, Metro, and, and many others. Eclipse Glassfish is just one implementation. And of course, there's a link here to a page describing more compatible implementations. So the Jakarta EE Working Group provides the oversight, guidance, and coordination for the uh, release of component specifications and provides the, some support for the simultaneous release of, of Glassfish. Um, the open source projects make most of the magic happen uh, in the open source projects, but it is the working group that brings all the pieces together into a coherent whole, evangelizes and fosters adoption and establishes and grows an ecosystem of compatible implementations. That is, the projects and the working group work together on different aspects of the whole. I'm, of course, only brushing on the surface in terms of uh, the level of management to make all of this happen. Um, the working group provides a means of pooling uh, resources and funding uh, with the working group steering committee providing oversight and guidance by coordinating through a working group. Multiple organizations can um, share a burden and collaborate in a vendor neutral manner. Uh, a sophisticated working group can um, 
can engage in various activities to support the work of the open source developers. Uh, the Jakarta EE Working Group, through its marketing committee, coordinates marketing activities, represents the working group at conferences, develops websites, white papers, and other resources to communicate the work of the open source projects. Um, implements a compatibility program to ensure conformance with specifications and uh, compatibility across implementations and engages in developer evangelism and more. The Jakarta EE Working Group has some dedicated staff, including a program manager, developer advocate and marketing manager, all of whom uh, work for the Eclipse Foundation and represent the interests of the working group in a vendor neutral manner. Uh, open source projects are where developers work and collaborate. The working group is where organizations and individuals work and collaborate to support the open source development framework. So as I stated earlier, Eclipse projects operate in an open, transparent and meritocratic manner. Uh, this means that everybody can uh, participate just by showing up. Developers, even uh, those who are not directly affiliated with the project, the working group or any member of the Eclipse Foundation, can contribute code to any of our open source projects. Those developers, without regard for who they work for, can earn their way to a committer status on any project. This includes specification projects. Working groups are also open and transparent. Uh, they are meritocratic uh, in the sense that once an organization chooses to participate with the working group, they can earn responsibilities within the working group through demonstrations of merit. But organizations don't earn their way into a, a working group, they sign up. Uh, this generally takes the form of signing a participation agreement and may include participation fees that are used to fund working group activities. With the exception of the oversight and guidance of specification projects, open source projects operate at arm's length from working groups. Projects do not take direction directly from working groups. Rather, working groups influence the work of open source projects by, by having the participating members tasking their own developers, uh, by providing funding, and uh, otherwise providing service to the open source projects. Um, further, uh, working group committees do not work in isolation. Uh, from the projects. Rather, they work with the projects. This is especially true when committees are uh, developing roadmaps and setting schedules and themes for releases and other activities that may appear to encroach on the independence of the open source projects. Um, at a minimum, formal committees tend to have representatives uh, from the developer community at, to liaise and coordinate. Uh, generally, the integration uh, is even tighter than that. Ultimately, uh, working groups and projects are two groups working on different aspects to implement common goals. Um, so with that, I, I thank you for your attention. Um, if you would like to learn more about open source projects, uh, either you wanna learn about existing projects or learn how to use the Eclipse Foundation process to create a new open source project, uh, visit eclipse.org uh, slash projects. Um, if you'd like to learn more about working groups, uh, either to see what is already available to join um, or to engage with us to explore working groups, um, visit eclipse.org slash org slash uh, working groups, no space there, or, uh, no space, oops. Uh, and again, uh, you can contact me at uh, wayne.beaton uh, at eclipse-foundation.org if you have any follow-up questions.